And today we have a very interesting conversation, which has been from the middle of the weekend up until yesterday. Mr. Sabinus, or the comedian, Olga. Olga Sabinus, yes, is suing a beverage company and also food company for 1 billionaire and 100 millionaire, respectively. Now, there are two cases, one for the use of a trademarked word or group of words, uh, something ooge, which was used in a campaign by the beverage company, only this time it was graphic. And then another one for his semblance, which was used for the foods industry, uh, the foods company. Um, only this time it was a different graphic. Uh, it wasn't exactly him, but it was in his semblance. Now, uh, everybody's talking about this and wondering how far this lawsuit will go. He's, go he's suing for um, one billionaire and 100 millionaire okay. respect. That's huge. That's something huge. So they're actually... Way, let me say that. But let me land, Emin. Okay. Let me end. There, there are two things, however. You can't say that, hey, you guys have exploited me. You've taken my uh, um, intellectual property. Um, and there's another thing. It's a totally different game when it is actually trademarked or mm. patented. And that's the issue now. I just mm. needed to add that he's saying that... Okay, sorry. His manager mm -hmm. has come forward to say that... Lawyer, it's actually. not No, his okay. manager okay. Mm. has come forward to say that... Um, August Sabinos is not the one suing here. Mm -hmm. It's his talent managers, mm -hmm. um, his talent manager, mm -hmm. or his talent, talent management company, mm -hmm. which is managed by someone else that's actually suing yeah. mm. these companies. Okay. So they've stated that already. Mm -hmm. But so far, we've not heard anything from Sabinos. Sabinos has been quiet through you know, uh, all of this. They are suing on um, his behalf mm -hmm. yeah. because it's his likeness. So, yeah. um, it's about the same thing with image rights. Recently, there was uh, the case of Kylian Mbappe, a footballer, who wanted to move to the club, and the club said, we'll give you 50% of your image rights, and I want said 100%. Mm -hmm. Now, those image rights, the company, if it is done in legal framework, the company has some part of the money from that image right. So, yes, they can sue, but then putting it on two that way, they cannot sue without his own mm -hmm. uh, agreement. Just to agree yeah. consent, yeah. exactly. But, you see, the point now is that we're talking about the trademark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Under what class did he trademark it? Good. Mm. Because someone, you know, I remember when uh, there was the issue of a book. There's also, I don't even remember, there's something about Sorosuke. Mm -hmm. mm. There's yeah. a book that's yeah. out yeah, there somewhere. Yeah, I saw that too. And we'll talk about it some other time. Mm. Yeah. But mm. I know that book titles cannot be mm -hmm. trademarked. trademarked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then in some regards, like we said, so what if I, I came up with a book and wrote the book yeah. and said something huge? Yeah. Yeah. So that's where it comes in that patents work in different classes, classes. like you sure. mentioned. Now, so let, me mention, let, me, let me elaborate on that. Now, he, uh, the, he, it was trademarked under the Class 35. Under Class 35, you have financial institutions and everything financial and all. So what this means is somebody else from another industry can actually still use that segment. Mm. Okay. So you can use something so even if you are a beverage brand, but so you cannot use it if you're a financial institution. So he trademarked it when it was used for a particular job he did. Mm. So right? I said, yeah. Yes. What particular industry was that? That it's was financial. It was, real, it was it real estate? It, it was, was financial? Aha. Uh -huh. So real you're saying... Let me check on that one so now. I understand. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's where there might yeah. be issues here. But yeah. the point mm -hmm. is that if it is under a particular industry, it can be used according to the rules. Mazino, right? Yes, that's indeed. You are correct. Insur uh, insurance, uh, financial affairs, monetary affairs, and estate affairs. Mm -hmm. That's under class 36, actually. Yeah. So you so, are correct. Uh, yeah. So, you know, uh, one thing I, I learned over, over time is that with advertising agencies and companies like these who have... a they spend a lot of money on these campaigns, right? Um, but at the point that they're doing it, um, they bring you in and they expect you to work for them on many different levels. In mm. Nigeria, they take advantage of a lot of people. Um, if you have great management, like it seems like Ogas Sabinus has, they will take note of some things and help you out. But there is that little black book that some of them keep by the side and say, ah, or more this particular artist or this particular talent, ah, the person get a halal. Mm. A lot of people don't speak out because they expect that, okay, down the line, if I'm looking for another gig, I, I was might coming not to get that. It. Yeah, I was going to say that because we've seen a, a case, especially in the entertainment, not, not, let me not mm. even um, streamline it to just the entertainment industry. We've seen where people have been exploited. Yeah. We've seen people's intellectual properties being taken for because they didn't do due diligence. Due yeah. diligence means, meaning they did not, you know, register their trademark or mm. register their business or register their brands, yeah. which, of course, this helps to, you know, um, protect, yeah. you know, your brand legally. Mm. Where So if, in this case, the talent management is saying that, mm. okay, um, this is trademarked to mm. this guy with evidence, yeah. mm. 
I think it is time that the companies came forward to say something. Mm. Because we've also seen cases where other celebrities How? have been trademarked mm. and these brands that want to work with them or these companies that want to work with them actually, buy, they're not just using their image Under now. The they're facts also that are using everything that they represent. Mm. Under the and facts they pay that for it. Are, are presented, he may not have a case. Mm. on both counts, actually. I just wanted to put that out. Mm. That said, it is a good thing that somebody's actually putting a foot forward and yeah. saying, now, uh, when it comes to intellectual property, you can't just exploit people. That's fantastic. That's a, a subject that should be raised because we've seen a lot of that going on. However, I also think that he's keeping mum on the issue as a person is yeah. also a strategic move. Yeah. Just in case it works out, yeah, it's a hundred billion yeah. in the person. If it doesn't work out, well, oh, hang on. If it doesn't that's work out, then yeah, I didn't say anything. Well, yeah, well, I was well, that, it's because I mean, in the future, he would also want a lot of. Sorry, darling. He would yeah. also want to work with a lot of brands, and this could fifty-fifty affect his brand positively oh, or well. negatively. Mm. Mostly negative. It's, it's it's in the court of law, right? Mm. Let the law take its due course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. That's yeah. just what we have to do. You let law take its due course. If we're going to say, let's believe that the justice or mm. justice will prevail. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm just going to wrap it up by saying, before taking the legal route, make sure you do your due diligence, as MM said. But yeah. then also, see if you can bring people to the table to discuss it first. Just because of that little black book. Mm. Seek legal advice. Yes. Don't ruin your brand, is all I say. Exactly. Be very careful. Yeah. Thank you very much for joining us. To stay tuned, we've got more inside of Wake Up Nigeria.